Hey, welcome back. So, for this one, uh, and this has taken me quite a while to get here, I'm going to be doing that mission for Dutch, where I'm going after Angelo Bronte. Uh, yeah, it took me a while to get here because there are a return of bounty hunters chasing me right now. All because of that, uh, well, that mission I did earlier, but I, did, I shot up Sandini with Dutch and Lenny. So I got like a... T I had a hundred and eighty dollar bounty on me, and now I think I've got about a two hundred and fifty dollar bounty. All because I had to shoot my way out of Sandini again. Yeah, two hundred and fifty two, and fifty cents. Yeah, so bounty hunters are basically running around this area now, just c continuously looking for me. Ugh. So yeah, let's go and see Dutch. Uh, if you guys can leave a like and a comment and hit that subscribe button. So does. That would be great. What's Tahiti like, anyhow? I have no idea, but I hear it's paradise. Where the hell is your problem? Arthur, there you are. Come on. Thomas, let's get going. Right you are. <laughs> hey, Bill. You were a sharpshooter in the cavalry, weren't you? What? When we get there, maybe you could help with the suppression fire. I never said I was no sharpshooter. Oh, that's right. W what was it? The nation's most loyal latrine digger, wasn't that it? <laughs> yeah, well, I fought, and I fought well. So you always tell us. You taught me something you could do with learning. <laughs> Them Indians were savages. Watch your mouth there, boy. Watch it. Only type of savage in these parts are moonshine, swilling, pompous, inbred locals. Dutch, I saw things out there. I don't doubt you saw things, Bill, but your tiny little mind was too small to comprehend what you saw. What you saw was people who lost everything to savagery, savagery of peasants. Failures come from Europe to reap some awful vengeance on God's last creation. Interesting way you boys got to prepare for a killing. I'm sorry I wasted my life trying to teach you boys. Love you though I do. <clears throat> well, love, leaving love aside, <coughs> you think we got this? Don't you never leave love aside, Arthur. It's all we got. Pick us up yonder. I got you. Thank you. Good luck to you. Come on, quick. Stay quiet. Time for a serious killing. God damn, I love these guns. Love them so much. Who's pushing me? Ah, huh, John. God damn it, John. Lenny, Bill, you're with me. Arthur, John, you take the left side. If you see a shot, you take it. Okay? Good luck, gentlemen. Arthur, let's go. <clears throat> let's go. I said you're with John. Oops. My mistake. Well, that's what happens when you don't pay attention to the plan. Come on then, Johnny boy. Let's do this. Find some cover. Two up ahead. I'm behind you 110%. You got a shot on him? Oh, what happened then? Alright, that's... Admittedly, I got pretty cocky there.
Yeah, I got pretty cocky there. That's my fault. I want my hat, though. Then I'm gonna have some food, maybe. I mean, I did just have the shit kicked out of me, so... Fuck, Arthur. Good! Now kick that damn door in! Look out! Ooh, nice. I'm not having much luck here, am I? Oh, there can't be much left of him. That sounded gore. Oh, look at that. That's disgusting. Come on, Bronte. Name your price, every man have a price. Eh? Okay, okay, no, I surrender. I surrender. I... <laughs> Should we kill him? Nah, let's take him to Dutch. You can carry him. I ain't touching that piece of shit. Oh, John, you're such a prick. <clears throat> Willing to Make knock a man out but not carry the body? Oh look, another bounty I got on my head. Spectacular. That was, that's four kills for four shots there. That's not bad. from where I'm sitting. You're the one deserving of pity, my friend. <laughs> all your men. All your money. It weren't no match for a bunch of bumpkins. You are nothing. You do nothing. You mean nothing. You stand for nothing. Me? I run a city. <laughs> and when the law catch up to you, you will die like nothing. I am this country. You, you, you are what people are running from. I possess things that you will never understand. You don't even possess your own men. A thousand dollars to the man who kills him and sets me free. 
What are you gonna say now? <laughs> they are even bigger fools than you. No doubt. The law will find you. Already, the dogs are on the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. You are so right. <laughs> they are good at smelling filth, huh? So <laughs> filth has got to be disposed oh! of. Oh! Our friends of oh! Pinkerton's are gonna come and rescue you, you oh! repulsive little maggot. Oh! 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 Call them now. You call them. Jesus. What part of your philosophy books cover feeding a fellow? The goddamn alligator, Dutch. The part that covers weakness. That part. I don't know. Well, I do. It ain't nice. I know it. But it is us or him. I figure it might as well be him. Well, shit. You don't see that every day. Ah, I'm in Shady Bell. God damn it. Like, in order to do the Seagull Flies mission, I have to... Oh, God. It's near Valentine, though, so... Uh, where is the coach? Uh, Stagecoach. Alright, well, let's go get the stagecoach. Yeah, so I'm going to take the stagecoach, then go up to see Eagle Flies, and finally do that mission. And then uh, I might be able to squeeze another one in tonight. Like another, record another part of this walkthrough. But, uh, don't know what comes after this, though. Yeah, it's hard to think that we're basically not far from, like, the Grey's place, from where we're staying. Because it just feels like a different part of the game, because we spend most of our time in, um, Saint Denis. But yeah, when you, like, ride past this area, you're just like, oh shit, yeah, that's the Grey's plantation. So yeah, this is not really a surprise when you think about how the Pinkertons are finding us, because we're just wa we're just moving down the road a little bit. We're not going that far. We're just going down the road, and that's it. And everyone's like, "Oh my God, how do how do the Pinkertons keep finding us?" It's like, yeah, what do you think? That man is not blind, probably. Anything anyone can give me, please help. Okay, so I have to go and uh, get rid of an extraordinarily high bounty. Good morning. I say extraordinarily high, it's not that high. It's extraordinarily me high me minute, for me. Because I don't usually let it get that bad. Um, Train ticket to the bay bounty. 
I could pay a, buy a train ticket, couldn't I? Yeah, I could buy a train ticket. To, uh... Valentine. Hope your journey's a good one. My host comes with me, right? Or is that just wishful thinking? I really hope the host the horse does come with me. Is this going to be like a full on No, wait. Do I skip to the destination? Oh. Yeah, cool. I was kind of worried then that I was going to see the next like 20 minutes of a of a train journey. I'm just sitting here going, "Oh my god." If the train passes through a town while you are robbing the train, the law will be alerted, and the patrol will be dispatched after you. Oh, good to know. Ah, my horse is here. Cool. Well, that, uh, that cut some time off the journey, I think. So let's go and see Eagle Flies and see how I can help him. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. Is the files in the office above the refinery room? It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see. It. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence, or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. Hey, well, speak of the devil, there's a, there's a wagon right there. Uh, Leop. Oh shit, oh shit. And now we watch a cinematic of a wagon just staying there, not doing anything. I'm gonna start loading up. 
and I will get off you. Okay, oh no, I need to get rid of that. Sneak into the factory. Okay, that seems uh, useless, but... What the? No! Fine, up the ladder. You've got a lock break, for God's sakes. What are you doing, man? Ah! Damn it. Yeah, I got a lock break. I don't get it. You were, like, kicking open the bloody door and all that shit. It's like, just, just pick the lock, man. Pick the lock. Okay, attempt. This is attempt number two. Oh god, I have to, to go through all this again. Uh, if this isn't incentive not to cock up, I don't know what is. Ah, right, I go through here, I see. Okay, buddy, don't turn round. Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. Cool. No one heard me, so... Fine, I'll go with that. important a file I'm from head office you're not from head office does that seem important right now no need a file by the Leland oil development company the one about the oil near Wapiti I Danbury think man 
Mind is a terrible thing to lose, especially over such a nice <laughs> floor as this. It's here. It's here. Okay, yeah, I, th I think he made the right decision myself. I'll uh, take that. You done good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. No, nope. Danbury. Danbury. Danbury, you okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Our head office will send me back to get you. Hey, 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 hey! Hold it right there! Weapons on the ground and hands in the air! Easy now, fellas. Now! We won't tell you again! Shot. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, yeah, like my only concern is just to like shoot them off the horse, but the horse just kind of goes off on its own, and I'm trying to aim. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes. Don't worry. He was very obliging. I thought you wasn't getting involved. I thought you were going to enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. Well, that was fun. That was something different. I say that like, you know, I'm not, I'm not always shooting people and trying to escape from somewhere uh, in this game. But yeah, that was fun. Alright, what's this then? Ooh, and there you go. That is the uh, the next part will be the big bank robbery. I'm probably going to only have enough time in the next part to actually do that mission. Because that's a pretty long one. Um, I'm going to call it a day here and sort of make my way back down to Shady Bell to start that next one. If you guys could leave a like and a comment and subscribe, that would be great. And yeah, that's pretty much it. See you next time.